Hey people, how y'all doing? Wednesday, September 22nd. And um, the reason I decided to make a video was um, a couple of recent passings of um, artists. Uh, when I was waking up this morning and listening to NPR, I heard a, you know, a obit for Sarah Dash of um, formerly of LaBelle which I thought was really nice that they would remember her and, and do a feature on her. Yesterday, someone of note, uh, for me personally, also passed away, Richard H. Kirk of Cabaret Voltaire. And I thought to myself, uh, well, there probably will not be any mention in the, uh, especially U.S. mainstream uh, news about it. You see it in um, the music news, Pitchfork and stuff like that, but... Um, Cabaret Voltaire were very um, important to me personally, very influential to me. I still have their very first EP, Extended Play. The third release on Rough Trade, I was just watching a Red Bull interview with uh, Stefan Malander from Cabaret Voltaire, where he was explaining that this was actually the first um, domestic release by Rough Trade. They, uh, Cabaret Voltaire important to me, um, influential uh, to me. Um, they started out in the early 70s, um, and their methodology was, um, just trying to do something, you know, with, with basically nothing. You know, they didn't have any money and wanted to punk kind of inspired them to, well, actually, it was be they started before that. I like them, even though their music is not all that musical and it became dance oriented. They were um, sound manipulators and wanting to just create something in their hometown Sheffield. I started out collecting Cabaret Voltaire and then I got to a point where I was kind of over them and I sold a lot of their records and then I started buying them back. So it's a hodgepodge what I have. Um, the arm of the Lord. I'm just going to show them. They're they're definitely influential on all m industrial music, electronic, even hip hop, and and video, video. High, important, important album. The recent ones, Richard Kirk coming back as Cabaret Voltaire. I've enjoyed these. Decadrone, Shadow of Fear. This one's really good. Um, Universal Consciousness or something like that is on here. I really like that. This other one, Be, Be a Nine Drone. The Covenant, the Sword, and the Arm of the Lord. I just uh, thought I'd say something because it, uh, it, 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 it struck me again that James Brown... The mainstream, it's just my perspective, I may be wrong, but my perspective is that the mainstream media is just all about commercialism, materialism, and money. And Cabaret Voltaire have never been a money maker of much, I would dare say. So we don't hear about them. But they were highly influential. Very important band. I have more 2 by 45 I was listening to this last night and it was like, some of their music is really dated. It sounds dated, but that's also kind of a testimony to the fact that they were ahead of the times and trying things that that were new. And so stuff like that can date when it's like you're just trying to push things. Microphones, this one's great. I really like this one. And Sensoria. And I have a few Richard Kirk solo pieces. Um, this one is... Um, Fear, No Evil, 12-inch single, another 12-inch single of his, Hypnotic, this one, I, I still like that one, and this I played almost all the way through yesterday, a lot of ambient stuff on here, um, Richard Kirk solo, Time High Fiction, and I think I have one more, Ugly Spirit. 
So I didn't want to try to wax poetic or anything about him, just to acknowledge that Richard Kirk, his passing is of, um, sorry to see him passing, he's a year younger than me, um, but he was an inspiration and an influence on me directly, absolutely. And uh, may he rest in peace.